I really, really like this camera. This is my new baby right now, but I will tell you. Hey you guys, it's your girl from Elia. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to like this video because it helps other people to see the video. And make sure to subscribe because we have awesome content on this channel. Today I'm going to be coming to you guys with a review of the Sony ZV E10 and also the Sigma 16mm f1.4 uh, DC lens as well as the mic, the Comica CVM-VM10 looks like an eye eye i don't know okay but <laughs> i'm coming to you guys with the review of all three of these so this is my new vlogging setup i have a light right over here so this is me coming up close so you can see the autofocus back away coming up close back away so i'm gonna input some uh, videos of me holding the actual camera in the lens in the mic what i like better is when i'm watching reviews i want to see the person actually film using the product so that's why i said let me just film this with all of the the vlogging setup but i love 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 this new setup let me tell you what made me even what made me even buy it so Aaliyah's face so when she switched up her camera i was just like oh my gosh her quality was good before but how crisp it became when she got this camera, I was like, yeah, I know I gotta get it. I definitely have got to get this camera. So the Sony ZV, the Sony ZV E10 is this camera. And before this camera, my vlogging camera was the Canon G7X and G7X Mark II. So the Canon G7X Mark II was such a great camera, but then all of a sudden it just started acting up. Like it's literally in my drawer right now. I need to go and get it fixed because that is a really good camera. I will say that. And I was kind of iffy about switching from Canon to Sony because I don't know. You know how they had the Sony Alpha something. Is it Sony A20 or A120? I don't know. They had another Sony Alpha that um, I just did it was like at the same time as the g7x mark ii is either you had that one or you had this one and i just liked the mark ii so much better in terms of how it made people look so i was kind of iffy on sony but then when i saw this camera and i also looked up more information and saw more people's vlogs using this camera and i'm like okay no this is definitely a nice camera so this with the sony cameras you know it has that setting where it can like um kind of I think it's like their beauty, not a beauty filter, but the smoothing filter. So you can put it on high, medium, or low, or off. So I put mine on low. I think it's on low right now. Sometimes I'll put it on off. So it just depends. Um, I like it. I think that it's pretty good. I have the settings right now. I think I have this on um, neutral, I want to say. I don't, I'm not too sure. I'll have to check that but I'm shooting right now in the manual mode. There's also the, I think it's called S and Quick, S and Q mode or something like that. That one is pretty cool as well. Um, when I'm normally shooting, I just normally shoot manual. I have this on F1, F1, um, F1.4, and then the shutter speed is one out of 50. The ISO is on 100 and I have I'm using a light so I find that so I think it's because I had the product showcase setting turned on on the camera you're gonna notice that there are gonna be some times when it's gonna go out of focus from my face to my hands like when I'm moving my hands in front of the camera and I think it's because I'm close to the camera and that setting is on because I normally don't deal with this but um yeah I just wanted to point that out to you guys if it goes out of focus so you know that's probably the reason why and then also I'm close to the camera and the autofocus is pretty good in my opinion the best quality that I get is usually when I have the ISO on the lowest and I use an artificial light but obviously as I'm moving around throughout the day and I'm taking this because this is my vlogging setup and I'm taking this all over uh, the ISO I believe it's it's normally on auto you know and I think because of the light that's why I went to 100 but it just adjusts automatically but the camera quality is very crisp very clear very clear but I will say 
that um, that also has to do with me also having the Sigma lens with it. But first, let me go ahead and give you the specifics on the Sony ZV-E10. So first off, it's a mirrorless camera, so that's different. It's lightweight, the actual camera is not heavy. My lens though, which is the Sigma 16 millimeter, f1.4 uh, dc lens that one is is a makes it a little heavier you know what i mean and i got my tripod as well and i have my my little mic as well so that makes it a little heavier the actual weight of the camera is 3.62 pounds the screen size is three inches and the video capture resolution is 2160 so another thing that made uh, me want to get this camera i was Obviously it's a crisp quality, but then also because it is in 4K and my G7X Mark II was not in 4K. So yes, you can definitely see how crisp it gets with this camera in comparison to um, the Mark II, G7X Mark II, which was also a good camera though, but I think this one is sharp. So this also has image stabilization. So here's this. Yeah, that autofocus though, let's talk about it. Come on. So I don't know. I think that would the autofocus be the lens. I think it might be the lens. Um, the actual camera stabilization. Ooh, dude. Hey, 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 hey. I don't know if that shows stabilization for you, but I'll also input some vlog footage so that you guys can see that. APS-C uh, photo sensor size. So it's a crop sensor. Uh, connectivity is HDMI. It's the LCD screen. Let's see what else we got. So what's different from this versus like the Mark II is like the Mark II for the Canon, it flips up. This one, it flips to the side. So you'll see yourself to the right hand side. So right now I'm looking at you. I, whereas normally on my Mark II, I would see you up there. I'm seeing you over here. And it has different shooting modes. So they said they have background defocus, background defocus and product showcase, and it helps you highlight specific subjects with ease. And then you see on the side, you actually charge it with this, which was different. So it's not like a battery that you take out and you charge. You just hook this into the camera on the side and you hook it into the wall and it actually just directly charges your camera. So I thought that was pretty cool. I was like, oh wow, that's different. This is also 24.2 megapixels. So that's also what's, I believe, I guess it's helping it look clear, like for pictures and stuff. UHD 4K 30 pixel and full HD 120p video. Three inch side flip out touchscreen, which I told you guys already about. And it says up to 11 frames per second shooting and the ISO goes from 100 to 32,000. Real time autofocus, which I'm using, I believe that's what I'm using now. Am I using auto, probably using autofocus. And they have the head headphone and microphone ports, all that different stuff, but I'm reading from Amazon's list. But where I actually purchased it was from eBay. So I was just looking to get the actual body of the camera because I already knew I wanted to buy my own lens. I didn't want the kit lens that came with it. Although on Amazon, and you'll see some links to everything down below in the description box if you wanna go ahead and use that to purchase. But I'll probably give you guys an Amazon link that has everything all together, or I'll find one with just the, mirrorless camera the body camera or you know and everything but just look in the description box below i'll have all that for you but i went ahead and got just the body of the camera on ebay and i got that for cheaper than what the price was saying on amazon at the time so um i'll go ahead and put the price on the screen here now and you can do the same or you can use a kit lens but i just knew that i wasn't going to use a kit lens i wanted to get my own lens i have a Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter lens already, the Sigma art lens that I use for a different Canon camera that I have that I use to film majority of my sit down videos. So I knew that that lens is good. So I'm like, okay, I want another one. <laughs> I want another one for my blogging camera. So let's now talk about the lens. So with this lens, I feel like the qualities of the Sigma art lens are it just crisp it looks very nice but the 16 millimeter i don't know i will be honest you guys i am i was debating between this one and the sony i believe it was the 10 millimeter 
and I'll put that a picture of that on the screen and I'm gonna get that lens I'm eventually gonna get it because you guys got to think I'm vlogging with this camera So sometimes I feel like it's too close to me. My arms are long in a sense. Yeah, kind of They're kind of long so it stretches but I still wish like it was farther away from me I still feel like it's pretty up close So I will say that like if you are thinking about getting this lens Just do know that you're really gonna have to stretch your camera But the reason why I decided to get this lens instead of the 10 millimeter one Which I will eventually still get is because I liked that um this one was f1.4 so like a uh, blurred background and you know i can always like what i'm doing now which is prop it up somewhere and just back up you know i don't have to be super close i don't have to hold it all the time i can just prop it up but for times when i just want to walk around and hold it that other lens probably would be better is what i'm thinking which is why it's the next one i'm gonna get um, and it's just gonna be lighter too because this Sigma lens is a little bit on the heavier side I don't feel like it's so heavy, but you know If I hold my arm out for too long, you know, I'm gonna feel it. So there's that but it's not like super heavy I can still comfortably hold it, but just after a while. It's like, okay, you know, but the actual camera It doesn't weigh that much. So let's see how much does the lens actually weigh the lens F16 is the minimum aperture for the lens. Minimum focusing distance is 9.8 inches. Filter size is 67 millimeters. Maximum magnifications is 1 colon 9.9. And the dimensions and weight are 2.8 inches by 3.6 inches and it's 14.3 ounces. So yes, it weighs 14.3 ounces. And I still am happy though I purchased this lens because it is pretty clear. As you guys, you guys were seeing the autofocus. Um, I can always, I can still hold it to vlog, but um, when I need to be farther away, I can always put it down and walk away. But I will be honest, I do have plans to get that uh, more wider lens. And if I could go back, would I do the same thing again? Uh, would I have gotten the wider lens first? I'm in the middle because I do like this lens, but it would be awesome if it was wider just as I'm going about my day. But either way, I think I would have just both lenses. I think so. I probably might still get this one first, but I don't know. Maybe I might recommend to get the other one first, but I don't know because I have never used that lens. I've only seen people's reviews of it and people's videos using the lens. So I don't really know, but I am happy with this lens, but I will tell you, it is kind of like closer, like when you're holding it. So if I was holding it right now, I'd be right here, you know, versus sometimes I like to, oh, not Siri trying to talk to me, versus I like to be farther away. So in terms of the mic, you know, this is how, can you hear me? Can you hear me? You can hear me now with the mic and then I will give you a test also. I'll give you a test with the mic on and I'll give you a test with the mic off. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. I saw in somebody's video, this would be a cool mic to use and it'll make the sound quality better. But what I will say is that with this, uh, this setup, with the lens, my tripod, my mic, it does look very official, I will say. <laughs> Which is like, because I remember I lost a whole bunch of footage. It really sucks. I I live in Miami, so I went. I was doing stuff during Art Basel, and literally lost all my footage. I don't even want to think about it. But when I was going into one of the art galleries, they were like, I had to go to the press area because of my camera. Because it, I was thinking, is does it look that official? Like, I'm just out here. You know what I mean? But. Um, yeah, I think it's the mic because the mic adds height and then the camera lens is kind of, you know, but I love this setup. I love the quality. I feel like this has um, my quality for with my Mark II wasn't bad. It was still good. It was still good. I still really liked it, but I feel like this has upped the quality for me in terms of vlogging. So I lost a bunch of footage, so you guys haven't really seen much with this uh, this actual camera. I do have a few videos on my channel right now where I use this camera, and so you can see what it looks like. I'll probably put some stuff on the screen and I'll link it down below, and you'll see that quality is really good. You know, obviously the smoothing filter can be helpful on days where I want more 
smoothing. I can do, put it on um, medium or high, and, or I can completely off it or put it on low. It just depends um, how you're feeling and everything. But definitely really like this camera, really like my setup. I'm trying to think of other things. You know, as I'm moving, you know, I do feel like it moves well with me. It, I believe it does have that image stabilization built in. I find that to be, you know, very effective. I really, really like this camera. This is my baby. This is my new baby right now. So I'm super happy about it. I can't believe that I'm Team Sony in this way. I still have like my big body camera is still Canon, but I do have my eye on another Sony camera that maybe further down the line I'll buy. But yes, you guys, if you are thinking about buying this camera, I would highly recommend it. I feel like it has significantly upped my quality. Thinking about buying the lens, I would recommend the lens as well, but I would just, you know, keep in mind if you're vlogging that it is it is kind of closer to your face. So you are sometimes just gonna have to set it down somewhere or just like really try to far stretch your hands. But it's still 16 millimeters, so it's still, it's not like no 35 millimeter or 50 millimeter, millimeter camera. So it's not like super close to your face, but it's just that me coming from the Mark II, it just, it felt, and especially that's like a, a small little camera. It just felt like I could hold that out wider and it wasn't as close to my face. So I will say that, but I'm very happy with this lens. Very happy with the camera. I'm happy with the mic. And you guys tell me, do you guys really see the difference much in the mic or whatever? But um, yes, you guys. So, and with the mic, you can also use it for uh, your phone instead. So if you can use it for a camera, but they also have a plug that you can also use it for your phone. But um, yes, let me know any comments or any questions that you have. Let me know them down below. And um, definitely, if you have any recommendations of different ways to use this camera or certain settings that are really working out for you, or if you want more details on the settings that I use, definitely let me know. And I will see you guys next time. Make sure to like the video and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.